Hi, Chris and Blake here, live in... The Dream Giveaway Garage. That's exactly where we are. Look what we got behind us today, Blake. I know, the Jeep, man. We can't wait. It's getting almost close, man. You better get your entries in soon. How many days are left? Seven, I want to say. Seven, Seven days, days left. Show that on one hand. Excellent. Seven days left to enter to win the Ultimate Jeep. How many of these were made? Two. Only two, two. in the world. I can show that on one hand. Two of them in the entire world. So here's what we're going to talk about today. This Jeep is really dual purpose, on-road and off-road. And speaking of off-road, who got this Jeep dirty since last time I looked at it, Blake? Well, you know, I was out, I was, you know, I just mm -hmm. didn't see the puddle, and uh -huh. next thing you know. Uh-huh, the truth comes out, ladies and gentlemen. So, here's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna say, point to a component, and Blake's gonna help you guys guess whether that part is better for on-road or off-road. Think we can handle this? Yeah, absolutely. I think we can too. Let's start right here. Moto, 20 inch, Moto Metal, 20 inch wheel. Better for on-road or off-road? Definitely off-road. I mean, you can see that's built very well uh, where the rivets on the side, making it extra durable. If you definitely want to go off-roading, you got these uh, Nitto trail grapplers. Definitely something you can use when you're off-roading. Will help you with the all-terrain. You know, any terrain, those things can handle for sure. So I would classify them as off-road. Okay, here's a tougher one. Rubicon, 10th anniversary hood. You can't get this on a regular Wrangler. Well, the great thing about this, this is definitely off-road. You know, with the louvers up top, gets a little bit more airflow going. It also adds a little aggression to the Jeep. So I would say it's definitely a good off-road accent to really help you enjoy the Jeep more and make it a little bit more mean looking. See, I thought it was on-road because when you're on the street, you want a custom-looking hood when you're cruising down the boulevard. Well, so let's meet in the middle. Let's say it's both. It's both, on-road and off-road. Okay, now let's open up the Jeep here. Let's look inside. Factory air conditioning, on-road or off-road, Blake? Oh, well, that's definitely on-road, you know. When you're, when you're off-road, I think you're gonna have it, everything taken off just like we have it today, but yeah. air conditioning is definitely for cruising down the road, keep it cool. Okay, now you know where the buttons are, so I'm gonna ask you to show. Power door locks. Power door locks, yeah, power door locks. We got some power door locks in here. Uh, they will definitely lock all your doors, keep you safe, uh, but that is uh, for auto. I know. Okay, and while you're there, power windows. Power windows, so this is upgraded with power windows. Um, when, it, when you get the black armored edition, uh, this was outfitted with electric windows, so you don't have to worry about cranking it up. You just put, push that button there and you're good to go. All right, great. So now I'm going to have the camera come on back here to this JL Audio. Looks like a uh, eight or a 10 inch speaker there. And how about the sound system? Thousand watt Pioneer head unit, JL Audio, nice amp, audio file inspired, on road or off road? Well, I think this goes again in the category of both. I mean, when you're off road, you definitely be listening to some fun tunes, get you in the mood to have fun on the off road, get you a little bit more adventurous. But when you're on the road cruising, I mean, it's always good to listen to some nice jams, especially when you got the top down, headed to the beach, headed to have fun. You know, it's always nice to have some good tunes in the car as well. Very cool. Let's go back to the front of the vehicle. And over here, I'm going to sneak past the lighting here. 9,500 pound capacity Smitty built electric winch. On road or off road? Well, I mean, if it was on road, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> it, it, it definitely brings a smile to the face, but this is definitely off road. You know, if, you're, if you do get your Jeep stuck, you know, it is nice to be able to have a winch to get you out. Or, you know, in the Jeep Jeep world, everybody's friendly with the good old Jeep wave. You know, if you need to get a friend out who's stuck or, you know, people get stuck in the snow, which great thing about Florida, we don't have any snow. But uh, if you're off-road and having a little bit too much fun, that winch definitely saves you. A lifesaver here for sure. All right, two other things. This front bar, tell us about it. Well, this front bar is really to help you if you do decide to rock crawl. You know, you'd rather have the rock hit this than to hit the front of your Jeep. So this is definitely a nice safety net uh, to have in front of there so you don't get any really cosmetic damage. And this thing you can hear is just complete solid steel, man. It's the real deal front bumper. So off-road on this? Off-road, okay. absolutely. One last one, oh, up there. Oh, the light bar. Well, you know, the light bars in this Jeep are, are all outfitted, uh, beautiful, very high definition. You know, when you are off-road, you definitely want to click them on to see if you can get, you know, any more light in there, and uh, you'll light up the whole road. I mean, that, that lights up a football field for sure. 
All right, so gang, on-road, off-road, as Blake showed you, this Jeep is both on-road and off-road, dual purpose. There are seven days left to enter to win the ultimate Jeep in the ultimate Jeep Dream Giveaway. Go right now, www.dreamgiveaway.com. Use the promo code that you see with this video. You're gonna get promo tickets. What are we gonna tell people who call us up in eight days and say, but I, I heard you guys, but I was lazy. I didn't go on. Unfortunately, they can't enter. Once our giveaways are over, they are over. You heard? Well, the ahead. one thing I wanted to tell you guys, something for the on-road experience, is Eastwood has given us a great prize package to go with this. Uh, they are our partners in this. Go to Eastwood for all your refabishing or uh, anytime you're restoring a car, they have all the great materials, but they've given us a prize package valued at $10,000, a welder, a welder's helmet, some great stuff, but that's for your on-road vehicle. All right. That prize package, it's not quite $10,000, but it's, it's a nice package. Oh yeah, but trust me, I would love it in my garage. Great, so one winner is gonna take home this Jeep, is gonna take home the prize package from Eastwood. You've got seven days left, and that's gonna wrap it up today. Live, thank you Blake for being Absolutely. here. Absolutely, and we'd like to see you guys on the road with this Jeep. That's right, and we'll see you next time live in the Dream Giveaway Garage.